Hey, what's up, guys? Tarzan, say hi. <laughs> this is Tarzan right here. He came to say hi today. Today we're checking out a Project Ascension Mystic Enchant known as Festering Wound. This one maximizes your poison damage as a rogue. Heavily relies on your critical strikes with your Mutilate, so you want to get your crit nice and high. Get Mutilate. It's a talented rogue ability, basically a main uh, ability. You're going to be spamming the crap out of that one. Um, so this increases your damage with nature by 20%. 2% 2, 2 up to 10 times, as well as your crits with Mutilate will give you 10 energy instantly and 20 or the next 3 seconds. Guess what? Your poisons are also nature damage, so the poison damage gets pretty high. I actually picked up Venom as well. That stacks up pretty high, some really good damage. Build that up, hit the Venom, just back and forth and back and forth. There's a lot of damage going out, even in PvP. We got mostly resilience and PvP power. No PvE, so we are just shredding through people. Another one that we went with that will help a lot with energy is going to be Vitality, um, which is right here. That's 6% times 3, so that's 18%. We got Vigor, so 20% extra energy, plus the talent points that you could punch into that. Um, we also went Naturally Strong. Physical abilities increase your nature damage, so basically Mutilate is doing even more damage with nature and poison. Um, we got some Mental Gymnastics, a little bit of uh, cost reduction. We also had, oh, this one for stun reduction. That helps out a lot, especially as a melee in pvp counterpoise that's either melee haste or crit so that's really always handy and that's just one epic so you don't have to worry about three of those and then we also went with this guy right here nature damage is going to increase your physical so when we hit up the venom that basically ties back into mutilate mutilate times the venom a lot of damage and then some of the talent points i'll show you those real quick mostly the assassination tree because that's where they focus on poisons a lot more um, we got increased max energy went to combat with Increase re regen, so that's 40%. Um, a little bit of extra expertise, some haste. This guy right here, extra damage while poisoned. This one's a 10% crit and bonus with daggers, which you need for mutilate anyways. And then a bunch of little things here and there, some poison stuff. Got the mutilate here, some extra crit, a couple buffs. Aspect of the Beast for extra attack power. The Battle Shout, the Blessing of King, so we're getting all the stats, basically. And then we just happen to grab thorns. We have been using this Mana Shield, that's coming in handy a lot. Um, and then we use meditate, so we're just constantly regening that, and we also have recuperate. So those are the three that I just kind of like keep up all the time. A lot of damage mitigation and recovery with recuperate, and then we have some stun. We have the wind fury totem. The poisons we went with were uh, let's see, actually I think they just fell off. We've been using the deadly poison and the wound poison. Those have been popping out a lot. This is nice for PvP because of the health mitigation, so they can't regen. And then um, the damage with the Deadly Poison comes out a lot, especially with Envenom and everything like that. And then I believe something also, when you use, I think, Envenom, it gives you a stack of the Crippling Poison for slow. So we don't have to worry about slows too much. Once in a while they do get away, but other than that, we're just ripping through everybody. Really good damage, so uh, I lined up a couple videos for you, a couple of arenas, battlegrounds. So stay tuned, take a look at those, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.